Hello, and welcome to your virtual field trip. My name is Deb, and I'm a teacher working at School Mental Health Ontario. We've partnered with our friends at OFIA to offer these virtual field trip videos on stress management and coping. This is the fourth video in the series. We've learned about breathing, muscle relaxation, and visualization. Today, we're learning about distraction as a possible strategy to help us cope with stress. It seemed like the perfect time to come to one of my favorite spots. When I'm feeling stressed and need a distraction, I like to get outside and get moving. In this video today, we'll be joined by Tracy, a social worker who will explain why we might use the strategy of distraction. Andrea, an educator, will share the distraction strategies that worked for her and for her family. We'll also hear from students your age who will share the distraction strategies that work for them. Remember, each of us is unique and strategies that work for some might not work for others, and that's okay. It's our hope throughout this video series that you find something that works for you. So, let's get started. Hello, my name is Tracy Groves and I'm a social worker with School Mental Health Ontario. A social worker is someone who can help you with your distress and your mental well-being. A social worker can teach you techniques to help you manage stress and they can also direct you and connect you with other mental health services. From time to time, all of us feel overwhelmed with feelings and situations that cause us stress. Distraction is one strategy that you can use to give you some space from those feelings and an opportunity to settle your mind and your emotions. There are many activities that can help us refocus our mind and each of us have something different that works best for us. Some of us like to use art or coloring. Some may like to listen to music or make music, while others might prefer something more physical, like riding a bike or playing a sport. Each of us have many spiritual and cultural or family practices or rituals that have meaning to us. We want to encourage you to think of those activities that distract you from your worry or stress. Choosing something that brings you joy brings you positive feelings and gets you out of your head is how distraction works best. While distraction doesn't make a situation go away, when we just take some space from that, which is causing us to feel overwhelmed or distressed, we can often approach things with a clearer mind and a fresh set of eyes. In fact, I'm gonna to listen to some music right now. And I may even dance because that's what I enjoy doing. Thanking, thank you for helping me to be distracted. We asked Ontario students what they did to distract themselves when they were experiencing stress. Here's what students in high school had to say. To distract myself, I normally play online games with my friends. It helps me because it's fun and it's easy to focus on, and it's always nice to talk to a friend. Many high school students said that music was a great distraction. Listening to it, playing it, writing it. I often distract myself by listening to music. It gives me the opportunity to focus on the tune or lyrics and just slow down my thoughts so that they are less overwhelming. When I'm distracting myself from stress, I play my guitar. Music helps me think and makes me think about what I'm playing, how the music sounds, and it takes my mind off of the negative. I let the music flow through my mind and I close my eyes and just play. One way to distract myself from stress is taking a day and going fishing. When you're out there all alone or with someone that means a lot to you, it makes you feel like the rest of the world doesn't exist and you're free from any problems or stress. When I need to distract myself, I like to draw or paint. I do this because it helps me calm down by doing something I like to do and it helps me focus and only focus on my art and nothing else. When I'm feeling stressed, 
I like to play sports or work out to take my mind off of the problem. Students in every grade from 9 to 12 said that pets were a great source of distraction. Snuggling them, walking them, playing with them, or just being near them. Hi, my name is Andrea. I am an educator. I am also an OFIA ambassador. Today, I will be sharing with you some activities that I enjoy doing alone with my family and with my friends. These activities are a great way to distract me when I find it hard to concentrate or stay focused. They even help me when I'm feeling stressed. I find that after these activities, I'm more focused and also ready to learn. Here are some examples of activities you can try doing alone or with another family member. You can do these activities inside or outside any time of the year. Making time to do what you enjoy is a great way to respond to intense feelings and a useful distraction tool to manage your stress. While I do activities such as these, I bring my awareness to how my mind and body are feeling. I sense the tension releasing from my muscles and notice my breathing slowing down. Afterwards, I notice that I feel calmer, my feelings are less intense, and that I am ready to focus on my learning. What distractions do you use? When do you choose to use distraction? Have you noticed if your feelings change as you're doing the activity or how you feel after? Did you see or hear any new ideas in this video that you might try? Educators, please refer to the virtual field trip lesson plan for activities to help consolidate this learning. We also encourage you to revisit the Student Mental Health Action Kit for further supports and resources. Thank you for joining OFIA and School Mental Health Ontario on this virtual field trip. We hope you find these strategies helpful. Educators, don't forget to stay connected by following OFIA on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at OFIA Canada. Also, follow School Mental Health Ontario at SMHO underscore SMSO on Twitter and follow our youth account on Instagram at Thrive SMH. Thank you.